Mr. Pink fights the Sentinels, but they leave through the portals. Soon the world starts folding in on itself. Lightning hits everywhere and chaos ensues. Poe and the others see as Alfie is in full power. Poe explains that in order to help Klaus summon the ancient masters, they have to protect him from Alfie. Alfie orders his sentinels to attack. Poe and Blade take them out. Alfie manages to find Klaus and sees him as he's summoning the ancient masters. So he hits him and is about to kill him. Blade comes to his rescue and battles Alfie, while Klaus runs away from the sentinels. Blade calls Alfie out for hiding behind his weapons as she looked up to him her whole life. He claims he only wanted to create a better world for England and for his family, and that everything he's done was to protect her. She, however, keeps fighting him and Poe joins her. Alfie calls Poe a failure, but Poe stole a piece of the gauntlet during the attack. He uses its power to subdue him. A possessed Veruca lures Klaus into a trap and he almost gets captured by the Sentinels. Poe kicks Alfie and manages to retrieve the black steel of the Equinox, which means that he lost his army and can no longer control and possess them. Klaus and Veruca reunite and hug. Alfie loses his cool and strikes Poe and his sister with lightning. Veruca helps Klaus tap into his power to summon the Ancient. Poe and Blade are still battling a furious Alfie, who gains the upper hand and gets back his sword. Their mother Lady Mom intervenes, but Alfie hits her. Blade urges her brother to stop fighting them, and accepts that this has gone too far. Just then, the ancient masters turn up, but the elements start acting up. The masters explain that it's not their doing, as the elements are in chaos. Master Sloth warns them that Pangea is collapsing. Alfie is scared now and states that he'll hold it together, but the masters explain that he can't, and that's why they hid the weapons. Poe suggests they destroy the weapons, but they're too late, as the world would still crumble. Alfie realizes he made a mistake, he cries and apologizes to his sister. The ground then starts shaking and the continents start crushing in on each other. Poe suggests the masters use the weapons to split the continents, but this time on purpose. They accept, despite it taking a lot of power. The dragon knights and ancient masters team up to do it. Poe reunites with Mr. Pink and hugs him. The ancient masters are going to summon all their power into the weapons to destroy them. That would mean that the dark army will disappear, including Alfie and Veruca. Cloud bids a tearful goodbye to Veruca. Alfie does the same and hugs his sister. They all use their powers and see as the weapons disappear. The world is saved from annihilation by the Dragon Knights. The elements were restored and the continents returned to their rightful places. The infamous Tian Cheng weapons were finally destroyed and the Dragon Knights sealed their legend. Wandering Blade returned home where she was named England's new head knight, the Master of War. Akna went back to her old passion making toys for the people of Tikal. Rukmini got to spend her time with the people she loved most. She also became a new pirate queen. Foruzen and Poe's dad resume pirating. Master Mastodon and the ancient masters finally moved on. And Poe and Blade enjoy food together as best friends.